Yo guys, what's up? My name is Jack2505. This is The Horde House. And today, we are going to be discussing my experience with the Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta streaming service on PC whilst playing Horde modes on Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, and Gears of War Judgment Survival Mode. Now, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So let's get on with the video. For a long time now, Gears fans have been asking for the old games to either be remade brought to PC and with this Xbox Cloud Gaming service, I think this is the best that we're going to get for now. I received an invite to the Xbox Cloud Beta on PC for being a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber. I also took part in the mobile beta. So if you have a Game Pass Ultimate subscription and you've been invited to the beta, please comment below and let me know how your experience went. You will need a very good internet speed to run this service and I know this would exclude a lot of players depending on the type of internet service they have or which country that they're from. My download speeds from my internet provider gives me up to 900 MB speeds. I ran a speed test and the result I have is 665.25 MB download with 101.86 upload. So that's pretty good fiber to the home speeds. The first game I tried was good old Gears of War 2 Horde mode on Fuel Depot. I tried Gears 2 a few weeks ago with the Horde House community and I forgot how slow Gears 2 can be. With the Xbox Cloud Gaming service, I did find it difficult at times dealing with the input lag plus the slowness of Gears of War 2. Missing shots at times and like, also you're not able to use your mouse and keyboard and you have to use the controller which is a shame for mouse and keyboard players who prefer not to use a pad however if you are a pad player you're all good sniping at times was tough and remember when the wretch would melee you and then you'll try and chainsaw it and then you'll get that flinch reaction even worse with the input lag for a beta it does run pretty well and i expect improvements from microsoft as the months go by. Moving on to Gears of War 3 Horde mode and I decided to try a quick private match on the classic trenches map. The input delay in Gears of War 3 was much better and manageable. I think this will be great news for most Horde players who are fans of Gears 3 and Beast mode. Playing Gears 3 Horde felt a lot more comfortable and manageable while streaming it on the Xbox cloud service. I'm actually looking forward to playing and streaming more of the old Gears games because of this service and if you guys are interested in the older Horde games on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. I think most Horde fans will probably move towards Gears 3 in this Xbox Cloud Gaming service to relive those old glory days and it's probably no secret by now that Gears 3 Horde is probably considered by most to be the best one. Now we move on to Gears of War Judgment Survival Mode and again with the input lag I was struggling a bit with the active reload however using the regular Lancer I did feel comfortable with, with the connection most of the time. Because of the nature of survival mode in Judgment and it's quite aggressive the enemies are you know they're constantly pushing forward and pushing towards you and the objective I did struggle at times with the input lag to sort of engage in combat in real time with minimal input delay. Also, I forgot how fast paced the locus can be in this mode. One minute you're safe, next minute a grenadier is throwing a grenade in your face and a wretch is damaging the generator. Because Horde is generally a sit back and wait for the enemy to come to you mode, most players with a fast internet connection, I think can at least manage with the input lag, with a minimal input lag. However, for anyone interested in PvP, I'll just tell you right now, I would not recommend this at all. Best to stick to console or PC. So guys, let me know if you have taken part in this Xbox Cloud service for PC. Have you tried Gears of War or any other games with the Cloud Beta? Also, if you want to see old content in regards to the old Horde games on this channel or via my live Twitch streams, please let me know in the comments below. Now, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505. This is The Horde House, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.